is Pluto a planet? And should we include it when we talk about scale models of the solar system, or maybe what's the solar system? How do we address this? What's your thoughts? Okay. Again, part of this is my opinion. Part of this is a recent decision of the International Astronomical Union, which is the authorized body for astronomers that discusses these things. Uh, Pluto has been reclassified, relabeled, if you will, as not being a planet anymore. It's still what it always was. It's still the same rocky body that was there before we knew it was there, same icy body, and it will continue to be there. It's still within the solar system. We're just, at this point, no longer calling it a planet. And Pluto has always been sort of an oddball. Pluto was discovered less than 100 years ago, and at the time it was discovered actually somewhat by chance, serendipity. There had been a prediction it was supposed to be there, but the object that was supposed to be there was supposed to be much bigger and more massive. Pluto was smaller than what was expected. And when you look at the solar system as we know it today, there are four giant planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, and four rocky planets, Earth, Mars, Venus, and Mercury. Pluto hasn't fit among that group pretty much since its discovery. So when they were predicting where Pluto was, they were thinking another gas ball. Maybe not and a gas ball, but something, something else. larger. They found something else. Do you think and they were predicting something that was farther out? And no, no or they were looking in those locations. As, as they've looked back, the predictions are wrong to start with. Uh. It has to do with how Neptune was found, which was a successful prediction. And then based on that kind of prediction, they thought there were still gravitational perturbations that implied another body further out. So they went looking for Pluto. But a relook, some of the observations were very crude at that point, very limited and they should never have been able to find Pluto. It just happened to be in the right place where they were looking. And as we know nowadays, there are objects even bigger than Pluto, just a little bit further out, but in that vicinity. So for decades now, astronomers have known that Pluto is an oddball. It doesn't fit with the other planets. It's a lot smaller than Neptune, just looking it, at it. It's a lot smaller. In fact, Pluto is not only smaller than any of the other planets, it's smaller than seven of the moons in the solar system. Our own moon is bigger than Pluto. So By how much? Not a big amount, but, mm. but, but, but larger, definitely larger. Pluto is closest in size to uh, Neptune's moon uh, Triton. You can almost think of them as twins. In fact, there's some speculation they somehow they both came into being at the same point because Triton is an oddball, too. It, Any chance it was Neptune's moon? Probably not. Probably not. More likely, Triton was, Triton was <laughs> captured. Yeah, they... Their orbits, Pluto's orbit comes inside the orbit of Neptune, but at least within foreseeable past or future, they do not collide. Uh, so though it comes in closer, it's, it's not on a collision course at all with Neptune. And so astronomers have known for years that Pluto is, does not fit with the other planets. There was a prediction a number of decades ago that there should be another group of bodies fairly close to Pluto uh, called the Kuiper Belt Objects, named after an astronomer named Kuiper. And within the past couple of decades, we've begun to discover objects there. A few years ago, they, they found one that was beginning to approach Pluto in size, about half the size. And so the astronomers really thought, well, Pluto's just really another Kuiper Belt object, just the biggest one. But one could say it was an oddball at that point. Much smaller than any of the planets, much bigger than any of the Kuiper Belt objects. But about, I think it's two or three years ago, they finally found one further out than Pluto. The thing we know today as Eris in our in our next slide shows the orbit of this object, and that object is further out than Pluto on a much more elliptical orbit. Although Pluto has, when we included Pluto among the planets, it had the most elliptical mm -hmm. orbit of the planet.